Wow, that video is something to see. Lexi, thank you for that report. And you know, we have been gathering flooding videos and pictures from all over the region. And we have to give a shout out to you at home because you have been giving us a lot of views of your neighborhood and we can pass it along with everyone else. So for more on that, let's send it over to WCNC Charlotte's Rachel Lundberg, who's been compiling some of our best pictures and video. Good afternoon, everyone. We received dozens and dozens of videos from people showing us what they were seeing in their backyard all across our viewing area. Let me walk you through some of this major flooding from Chad Andrews. He says this is the highest in his 31 years in Charlotte that he has seen the waters rise right behind Park Road Shopping Center, the Greenway and the through roads there. The next picture from York County Sheriff's Office in South Carolina showing rescue efforts underway. As you can see, two officials and a boat headed toward that house. Harrisburg Fire Department reminding everyone to turn around, don't drown. This video was shot by the Harrisburg crews. They responded to an incident on Stallings Road. The car that you see in the distance there, that driver is out of the water and does not have injuries, thankfully. The next picture from Iredell Firewire showing a road collapse, Liberty Hill Road collapsed. Look at the bridge there in the distance and the power that those waters hold. Jenny Morgan, thank you so much for tagging us in this video and doing so safely, showing the flooding up in Kannapolis. Philip Hamilton tagging our traffic anchor Ruby Durham and this video showing the flooding on Interstate 85 northbound this morning right at Little Rock Road. Thank you to everyone for sending in your videos, helping us tell the story and doing so safely. We'll continue to follow the very latest in what we see on social media as people deal with this damage across our area. For WCNC Charlotte, I'm Rachel Lundberg. Thanks, Rachel, and thanks to all of you at home. Be sure to keep sending us those photos and videos. We made it easy for you. You can actually use the Near Me feature that is inside our WCNC Charlotte News app. All you have to do is open the app, and that feature is right there on the bottom right side of your screen.